The Liverpool flop made a little more sense. The recent form, not great, mm. Europa League yeah. and all that. How do you explain what we just saw with, with Arsenal here today? Well, we got to half time and we're both saying that they're controlling the game, in charge of things. It looks likely like the goal was going to come. Second half, I don't know what, quite what happened. Villa were better. Arsenal played with less energy, with less pace. Uh, there was always that threat that we talked about at half time and they get the goal. It was a very Unai Emery type performance. His team were well set up. They've hit them on the counter attack with the goals. Uh, it's the double that they've done over Arsenal, so it's, it's not. You know, by chance, it, it's well constructed, um, and it's this was the game that all the doubters from Arsenal have been waiting for. This is the game when they said this is when it starts to really matter that Arsenal haven't got the job done now. The team and the manager are going to have to take that criticism, take it on the chin, and continue to move on because we've got six games left. The, the hard part is there were no signs that this was about to happen to Arsenal this year. Uh, uh, well, this year, yeah, absolutely right, but also at half time. Like, I don't know what happened to Arsenal in the second half. The, the energy, um, they looked tired. There was changes made by the manager before the game that we were a little bit scratching our heads. The commentary guys as well were talking about it. Let's remember back to Tuesday. They, beat, they, they played Bayern Munich, massive game in the Champions League. Their front three was Martinelli, Havertz and Saka. Kai Havertz has been excellent as a nine recently, scoring goals, being the man. And there was changes today. And we thought Havertz would continue up front. He didn't. Odegaard going off in the second half, also I always think he's such a good, dynamic, creative player. But the biggest thing is how they fell away. And, you know, I mentioned it a few weeks ago about the Champions League and how it might affect Arsenal and whether they change, whether they don't change. Aston Villa had a game, by the way, Thursday. Yeah, they had a game. And it's pretty much the same team. Now, I know it's Lille compared to Bayern Munich. I understand there's a difference there. But the same players, it's one change to the Villa side. They were able to power on in the second half and win the game and Arsenal weren't. So, questions about manager selection and questions about just the second half, why they were so slack and dropped off the game, fell away from the pace of the game. Isn't it now, though, about the reaction from Arsenal? This has happened, it's been a bad day, it's been a bad second half, people are going to make criticisms. I think Graham and John talked about it in, in the commentary. It's about the reaction of, of what happens next. Yes, they've got Champions League, they've got important six Premier League games as well, if they're going to stay part of this title run. Take us inside that Manchester City text chain that was developing <laughs> as they were watching the action. Well, it, it, they just, it's, just an, it's just an incredible weekend. It's a pivotal weekend in this Premier League title race that we've loved over the last recent months. Now, two points ahead. They've got to drop, uh, they've got to lose a game. They've got to draw a couple of games, maybe one. Others have got to win out. Arsenal have still got to play Chelsea, Tottenham, Manchester United. They've got to win every game now, the other two yeah, teams, yeah. and that's not easy to do. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.